I'm sitting under some clear blue hot skies punishing a watermelon. Whatever happened to the ozone layer? They used to make us afraid of sitting <laughs> out in the open and enjoying the sun, getting vitamin D. They used to make us so scared of the ozone layer. What happened to all that chit chat about the ozone layer? There was a time when the ozone layer um, was directly above Zimbabwe, Southern Africa. Big hole, they said. What ever happened to it now? Where's all that chit chat now? My banana smoothie for lunch. Absolutely, absolutely sweet. So sweet. It's like drinking water with pure sugar. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Super ripe. Huge bananas. And I've got some orange juice on the side. Smashing down the carbs. Sugar for the win. Sorry. That's some biltong, I used to go crazy for that. Well stocked shelves. Some fatty foods. Chicken hot jelly. Some salads. Lovely looking salads. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Most of it's got mayonnaise, fruit, nuts, dried fruit, sweets. It's good to see that the shelves are full now and food is all well stocked. There was a time when I came to Zimbabwe five, ten years ago when uh, there was nothing on the shelves, no fuel, water shortages, electricity cuts. Some of that is still around, but it's a lot better now. So this is like the up-end market part of my city, Bulawayo, where I grew up. This is all new now, um, where the middle class to the rich come and shop. Uh, one thing we've always had in Zimbabwe, ever since I was a little kid, is uh, recycling places. So here you can see they recycle the cans and the bottles, and uh, you can't buy beer which comes in bottles most of the time, especially if it's manufactured in Zimbabwe. Uh, beer bottles, you can't buy beer bottles without giving in your old beer bottle or else the, the beer becomes a bit more expensive. So that's good. Recycling is has always been a big, big part of Zimbabwe way of life. So in that little, uh, what's it called? Complex. Fruit Lovers Complex. Fruit Lovers Complex. Uh, there were some few restaurants. And everybody was eating meat, 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 cheese, all nicely prepared and looking fancy and stuff, but uh, <laughs> unhealthy as hell. And they sit in there thinking they're getting the best out of life, you know. Uh, veganism uh, probably exists in Zimbabwe, but it's, it's still got a long way to go. I talked to a few people that come in touch with me about veganism and how to get healthy but still a long way to go. People here love their meat a lot. Yeah. Yes. Just this. So what do you call this? Mazanjes. Mazanjes. Yes. Traditional fruit, eh? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can I taste one? How much are these? Dollar, two dollars. A dollar? Mm -hmm. Two dollars? Two dollars. Two US dollars? One dollar. My hand is marker. Ah. <laughs> After you tasted these mazanges. Mm hmm? <laughs> Buy one at least for one dollar. A price of dollar. They sweet, no. So give me it's dollar each. Mm, it's this sweet. One. Yes. Mm hmm. Very nice. That's what it looks like inside. dollar pile of mangoes so we're getting two US dollars these are super sweet little mangoes how much is watermelon so tell me what you're eating rice and pasta yes it keeps you fit huh? lots of energy you don't understand <laughs> So how much are they? Three, four, five, six, seven. Depending on the size. Sweet. Very, very sweet. Choose one there. Yeah, one, one for five dollars. Uh -huh. We're having some ice lollies just to cool down in the heat. Cherry ice lollies. Back at home, I forgot to show you guys our fig tree. Some frigs coming through in the morning, the birds come and raid this tree. Nice big fig tree growing in our front yard. I've got a few newspapers to go through with you guys just to show you what features in our headlines. This is the Chronicle newspaper. Been around for ages, most of my life. Front page, made, made shot dead. Woman in trance reveals four ten-year-old murders cops investigate. Uh, what else have we got? Robbers hit service station. Fraudsters fraud, forge withdraw, withdraw man's eco-cash account. Man steals to make wife pretty. Love of city marriage. Love of city ends marriage. Sports page. David Hay. Ronaldo. Chelsea. A bit of the local sport. Cricket. Next newspaper. Robber gang strikes. I know the family that they actually robbed is a pastor. 17,000 worth of goods stolen. 66 year old fails to outrun cops. <laughs> Held over 300,000 fraud. Meteorological department issues a heat warning. Apparently the tarmac was too hot for the planes to take off. We also seem to have our own busy signal here. There's a Jamaican busy signal and a Zimbabwean busy signal. Rape accused cop goes free. Three pangolin peddlers held. People dealing in the rare, uh, almost extinct species called a pangolin. It's like an anteater. This is an interesting one. Too many ro roadblocks bleed economy, economists. That's true. There were loads of roadblocks when I was coming down uh, to blow out. Um, we must have gone through about six roadblocks. And that's not counting the toll gates. Here's something else. Farmers ready festive season chicken demand. And all them chickens. They look quite healthy compared to the ones in the States. 
but still murder 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 sports page you got Mourinho Beckham and the local sports page Highlanders next newspaper Ethiopian illegals crash and die apparently there were some 23 Ethiopians that uh, died in a car crash virgin in 12 hour rape hell mom slayer in court that young man slayed his mom killed his mom there is some good news though loads of good news Mom of three kidnaps child five. Yes, there is some good news, don't get me wrong. I'm just focusing on the on the headlines. PBT school teachers lose pay. Nast killed Professor Lendile Nlovu. Reserve Bank Governor supports business in Rand rejection. That's a little interesting headline over there. Zimbabwe's ugliest man crowned. He's good looking as far as I'm concerned. Look at him. As happy as ever. Nothing makes him ugly. Here's an interesting one. The media always sets out to contradict stuff. To confuse the masses. No explicit link between processed meat and cancer. <laughs> and then the other end of the scale, you got the UK lot saying, um, yep, there is a connection between meat and cancer. And then they're going to say there's no connection between meat and cancer. You come here, there's no connection between meat and cancer. It's just back and forth, back and forth. Keep, keep confusing the masses. <sighs> well, there is a link between meat and cancer. All meat and cancer. All meats lead to cancer. So apparently there was a nasty fight at the Mr. Ugly contest. This guy on the right is the former three-time winner. And that's the new reigning champion on the left. Which one do you guys prefer? I like the one on the left. He's a happy guy. Prize money, 500 US. Not bad, eh? MPs want tax break for Kariba expansion project. Now this is one of the reasons why we suffer some power cuts in Zimbabwe. It's because of this uh, man-made dam. Um... I think they're expanding it or there's not much water coming through from from the middle part of Africa so uh, we suffer from power cuts that's a little blue tit or in my language we call it a GDD makes a nice little chirping sound so uh, crime is quite rife uh, as the headlines show this you know break-ins and burglaries and robberies um, just people trying to make ends meet and uh, yeah there is some serious crime going on but there is a lot of good going on as well and it's just that the newspapers don't get to report on good news doesn't sell does it um, but in terms of, of veganism taking off in Zimbabwe I think it's still, there's still a long way to go um, just walking about and observing people uh, you can't tell people that are living on the bread line what to eat and what not to eat. They're just going to feel hungry and put into their bodies um, what they what they can survive on. But uh, in general, I, I, I see a very lean, healthy nation that lives uh, mainly, mainly on carbohydrates and, and vegetables. And then uh, they do like their meat, though. Almost every dish has, has, has got the meat, especially the uh, the upper class people, the the the, the rich a lot. <laughs> they like meat in their plate. It's supposed to be a sign of wealth, but the the lower end, the poor people who can afford your your maize, your corn, your ugali, and vegetables, they the healthy lot. They all slim and healthier looking than than the than the rich lot that I've seen who are you know, overweight and, and and struggling along. It's raining almost every day now. <laughs> hey.
today we're taking Bobo to to the dip because he's got some ticks okay. around his neck. Mm -mm. Come on, my brother. 